Hello again everyone, this is Gerald Washington back with 3 Minute Tech. I'm going to tell you how to find a nice laptop computer at a retail store. So, have you ever felt like you were just like, extremely blindsided as soon as you walk into a retail, a retail store, let's say Best Buy or Walmart or any other retail place that sells computers that's not normally a store that's known for carrying specialty products like computers that's not really known for being a computer store, a computer specialty store? Well, Sometimes I have a lot of friends, they have buyer's regret when they go in and they go purchase a laptop computer or a desktop computer and it's not as good or doesn't perform as well as they thought it would. So I'm going to give you guys a few guidelines on what to look for, the specifications and the type of computer that you want and I'm also going to discuss with you your budget. So being that the budget is the most important thing, you have to know how much money you're willing to spend. If you're expecting to go into a store and spend 500 bucks on a computer that can handle things like gaming and doing all sorts of other advanced uh, computing things, uh, you're not going to find that $500, uh, quite frankly, just isn't enough for that. $500, it can probably get you a, about a good mid-performance computer, a uh, low to mid tier computer depending on whether you get a laptop or a desktop but those laptops that are going to do that high-end computing those you're going to have to spend well over one thousand dollars for so in technology especially when it comes to buying a computer the difference between five hundred dollars and let's say seven hundred fifty dollars the difference is immense the difference is immense because you're not just paying for you know what some people think is a cheaply made computer versus a more name brand of more well put together computer you're actually paying for the components on the inside so I'm going to tell you about what components you should be looking for when you're purchasing a computer out of a retail store so the first thing you need to look for is the processor you're going to see it one of two ways you're either going to see it listed as the processor or the CPU. Your CPU nowadays, if you're looking for something that can handle regular everyday tasks such as typing, checking email, doing that type of stuff in a fast and efficient manner, you typically want to go with, as far as the Intel family, nothing less than an i5 processor. And I'm going to have everything posted in this video, either on this side or on this side, either one. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'm going to post those things. So again, you don't have to remember these by heart or anything. But your CPU, if it's an Intel, should at least be an i5 at the very least to handle mid-computing, mid-tier computing. As far as your AMD family goes, look for the Ryzen Three, at least the Ryzen 3. Now on Intel the high-end stuff is i7. You may see some i9s out there but again those are way more expensive. Those are more high-end computing systems. So those are going to be more expensive as far as AMD they have the Ryzen 5 now which again is going to be way more expensive than the Ryzen 3. See, when you buy a computer, the processor is typically the most expensive component inside of that computer. So the higher and better the processor, the more that computer is going to cost. So the second thing you should be looking for is RAM. Now, it's quite often that people get RAM and memory mixed up. They think memory is, you know, how much space the computer has to hold pictures and files and things. But RAM and memory are the same thing random access memory it determines how much space your computer has to run instructions so if you want to do things like have multiple tabs of google chrome open or multiple programs let's say you want to have your internet browser and maybe microsoft word pulled up at the same time and have it still run in a nice manner still have it run fast and your computer doesn't hang up you're gonna need more ram so typically what we really want to look for in ram the minimum we should get is eight gigabytes look for eight gigabytes of ram don't accept anything less because they're just trying to sell you a cheap computer they're probably on clearance and they're just trying to get rid of them so we really want to look for that eight gigabytes at least eight gigabytes of ram or memory 
Now, as far as storage goes, storage is also going to depend on what you're trying to do with the computer. That's what all this ultimately depends on at the end of the day. But for my normal everyday computer buyers who aren't trying to do gaming or anything like that, you just want to have a nice computer to type on and send emails, maybe, especially nowadays with everything that's going on in the world, work from home as well. So you want to look for a laptop that has at least a one terabyte hard drive at least one terabyte depending on how much work you have and what you do for work you can get away with 500 gigabytes it's going to be a little less expensive than a one terabyte hard drive and definitely don't try to go out and get a solid state drive an ssd because those are going to be way more expensive but the ones that they typically have in retail computers at retail stores they don't have that much storage a typical laptop ssd only has about 225 maybe 250 gigabytes of storage in the ssd while ssds are faster right now they are the new technology as well so they're going to be way more expensive so again if you don't have the money for it and you don't really need it don't spend the money for it because what the salespeople are trying to do and trust me I know I've worked at a retail store before and I've seen how things operate most of the people who are selling you these computers they are not you know really computer experts most of them aren't you may find you know a couple in there who are actually computer experts and know this stuff and do this stuff well you know maybe do it as a hobby or something like that but for the most part they're just salespeople and they know the specs and know what to tell a customer and how to respond to the customer and they are really good at making a sale so sometimes they'll try to sell you something that's you know not what you're looking for and the fact that it's either going to be not powerful enough for you or they're going to try to sell you too much power you know i've seen many times and i've gotten in trouble at my store for selling people exactly what they needed instead of upselling them on the more higher end computers uh for instance instead of selling someone a sixteen hundred dollar laptop with things and features that they're never ever going to use while they own that laptop i went ahead and i sold them a 750 dollar laptop that can do everything that they wanted to do and you know really no wasted space and no wasted money so I saved them up close to a thousand dollars just by making sure that they get exactly what they needed so make sure you take this advice and take these tips in there with you as far as brands go I'm not gonna do any specific brands um, because I don't want to seem like I'm the salesman for a specific company or anything but do your due diligence Google is your best friend. Search for the brand, search for reviews about the brands. Uh, some of the big brands out there, Dell, HP, uh, Lenovo, um, who else? Asus, Acer, MSI. So again, it's all, it's all gonna depend on what you're trying to do with your laptop. So the things that I just described are gonna be for typical, you know, mid-tier at home use laptops. Now, if you want gaming PCs, you definitely may want to stay away from retail stores if you're trying to buy a gaming PC. You may want to go buy directly for a company where you can get your PC customized to the specifications that you want. But again, be forewarned, gaming PCs have more powerful components on them, so you're going to be spending well over $1,000 to get a nice gaming PC. All right. So I hope this helped you out a lot and I hope you take these tips with you when you go into a retail store and buy a computer. I'm, my name is Gerald Washington. This has been 3 Minute Tech.